You may remember Kim Klasik. She's the African-American woman, a Republican, running for a congressional seat in Baltimore, Maryland. She had that uh, commercial or an ad that went viral, and it shows her wandering around the streets of her district and basically making the argument it's all run down, dilapidated, filthy. This is what decades of Democrat rule have given us. Vote for me. Vote Republican. She appeared at the Republican National Convention. I'll link to her ad below if you want to watch it, if you haven't seen it already, but probably most of you have. Well, on the uh, 31st, which was Monday, uh, President Donald Trump came out and endorsed her. And the reaction from the progressive left is just incredible. And I think it tells us a lot about what we're dealing with uh, on the progressive left and how their minds work, or maybe I should say how they don't work. This is Donald Trump's tweet from Monday, giving Kimberly Klasik his complete and total endorsement. And you can see her response here, how she's honored to receive that endorsement. Black Republicans no longer blindly trust the Democrats. Republicans will revive America's inner cities. But what's really interesting is to look at the responses that you get from uh, people on the left. And they say several things. They fall into certain categories. The first is that basically she's, as this guy puts it, a black pawn for this weak little man. Uh, you've ruined your chances. The reaction from those open-minded people on the progressive left falls into basically two categories. The first follows the Joe Biden rule. It, it, you know, if you ain't voting for me, you ain't black. Basically, you know, the idea that if you're black, you have to vote Democrat. If you vote Republican, you're not black. Republicans get to decide who the real blacks are, the real Hispanics are, uh, the real Asians are, the real Native Americans are, and the real women are. And if you don't fall into their particular voting categories, you don't fit into those categories at all. There's something wrong with you, and you know you should just be shunned. The second thing you see in the reactions is name calling. I mean, they literally call this woman names that if I called a Democrat African American person those same names. I would be banned from uh, Twitter. I would be banned from YouTube. I would be banned from Facebook or any other social media platform. But it's all right for people on the left to call Republican African-Americans whatever they want, apparently. Anything at least short of the N-word. Uh, the third thing you see on in the responses is the idea that she's only being supported because she's black, that if she was white, she wouldn't have been supported, as if Donald Trump doesn't support white congressional candidates. He does all the time. He supports people down here in Florida that I know of. He supports the governor. He supports people in races all the time. It doesn't mean he supports everybody, but he supports many people. The idea that he would only support her, and I guess the only reason she got to speak at the Republican National Convention is because she's black. So let's look at some of those Twitter responses because they're, they're really incredible. Now here's one. Stop being used as a black pawn for this weak little man. You're ruining your chances at having any kind of a life of dignity and respect. Lots of laugh. You're a joke tap dancing for the Republicans. Turn in your black card. In other words, you ain't black. She's a black person that thinks she's white, that can only find time to put other black people down. Uh, you know, she's not a true black. This is the, you know, uh, uh, true Scotsman logical fallacy writ large. Uh, and I, I have a video I've done on that, or maybe I haven't done it yet, but I will. Uh, She's running for Congress as a Republican. Hal Trump describes a black congressional candidate. He can't believe that a black person would be a Republican because he knows what being a Republican means. It means being white. Again, if you're not voting for Joe Biden, you ain't black. 
What's this? Fashy white boys love themselves, some hood rats, not the good kind. Uh, coons for Trump, you know, calling her a coon. I mean, if, if I called, if I used that term against an African-American politician in this country, this account would be shut down. But, and I certainly would be shut down on Twitter. But it's okay for the left uh, to do this. But then she gives a, a really good answer. My favorite part about getting Trump's endorsement is reading the comments claiming Trump only did it because I am black. As if we didn't spend three weeks watching modern day overseer Joe Biden play duck, duck, goose with three black women to pick a VP solely based on complexion. And then somebody responds here, oh, snap. Ha ha ha. This woman is quick because she's right on point with that. I mean, who are these progressive Democrats on Twitter and elsewhere to argue that she's only getting Trump's support, she's only getting attention because she's black, when they just selected Kamala Harris as the vice presidential candidate, who, if Biden's successful, will probably end up as president at some point in the next four years. Most important job in this country. One could argue one of the most, if not the most important job in the world. And why was she picked? Did Joe Biden come out and say, I'm picking my VP candidate for this all important job and I'm picking the person that is best in this country, at least in the Democrat Party, for the position? No. What did he do? He came out and he said exactly what the left is accusing Trump of doing. He announced nationally over and over and over again that he was going to pick somebody because they would be a woman and they would be of color. He told us that. He made no secret about that. He didn't try to hide it, pick somebody who he claimed was best, who just happened to be a woman of color. He came out and said he was going to limit his choice to women of color, that there were these two boxes that ha you had to be able to check with that candidacy to get picked. And he picked Kamala Harris. She is the evidence of that kind of thinking that now they're accusing Republicans of doing. Accusing, because they have no evidence. Whereas with Biden, we have evidence. It's from his own mouth, from the fool's own mouth. He should never have said beforehand he was going to pick a woman of color. He should have just done it and claimed he picked her because she was the best candidate, which she clearly wasn't. She didn't even make it to the New Hampshire primary or the Iowa caucuses, for that matter, against any of the other people running, some of whom were people of color, some of whom were women, some of whom weren't. They all survived longer than hers. She was a failed candidate. Nevertheless, he picked her, and he told us why he picked her. She's a woman, and she's a woman of color. And now they have the gall to go up here and attack this woman, call her coon, call her a not a true black, call her a, somebody a wannabe white, when they, in fact, are responsible for doing the same things they're accusing Trump and the Republicans of doing. And that's the way they operate. They accuse you of what they know they're guilty of. They accuse Republicans of dividing the nation along racial lines, where they're the ones who divide the nation along racial lines. They accuse Republicans of running these troubled cities into the ground, when they're the ones who've been running these troubled cities into the ground for decades. They always accuse others of what they're guilty of themselves, because they understand that guilt better than anybody else. And here's a classic example, just in a series of tweets, over a tweeted endorsement by the President of the United States to one congressional race where it just happens to be an African-American woman. But they have the gall, after the way Biden went about picking his VP, to come out and say that she's only getting the endorsement of Trump because she's black. Hypocrites. Progressives are just total, utter hypocrites. 
They're beginning to make me sick. And if they're making you sick too, subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Hit the notification button so you know when I post new videos. And as we confront this resistance, as they call it, keep in mind that what we need to do is to stay alert and keep fighting.